If you're looking to call the Vail Valley home forever, or maybe even just for a couple years, you know, I, I think that we all, un all understand why it's so incredibly magical and why that would be something that you'd want to do. Now, you want to make sure that you have the right information and that you know exactly what you're getting into. And so the perfect person to talk to you about that is here with me in the studio. Bert, you have been here for how long in the Vail Since Valley? Since 1990. 1990. So there's a little something that you like about this place. A little something, a little something I know about the place. Right. Now we were talking off camera that you actually originally came out here because why? Came for the environment and for the real estate. Okay. So you came for the real estate, and now you're still in real estate. You work for Live Sotheby's International, and uh, and so when it comes to real estate nowadays, right. uh, you know you've seen some of the trends over the years. But what's the market doing right now? Well, you know. Our market is different than most markets that people come from, suburbs, and they, they try to figure out, oh, how can we price this house? What can we look at? We have really two segments. We have the primary people, which you are now. Right, yes, I'm <laughs> excited to be one of and those. And then we have the, the people who come here part-time. And mm -hmm. some of that part-time is even six months here, six months away, off season, they go back home. So there's two different marketplace and the primary people of course are always interested in buying homes sure and so that's been very strong for us um, very strong I, I concentrate on the upper valley market okay. so everything from the golf courses in Wolcott to Eastvale and what we're seeing uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars up okay in 2015 July today the 20th there were 64 sales for 116 million okay so pretty, no, good. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. And so we're on a par because now we have 60 sales that same time period for 120 million dollars. So wow. we're still we were you know sort of neck and neck. So the right. market is strong, and the motivation <clears throat> is changing depending on the age category. You know, as we say, our 45 to 55 year olds are usually our strongest buyers. And so who are the sellers? Well, it's 15 years later. Huh. These people are 60 on up, and mm, their dynamics are different. So they're the sellers. Okay. And one of the transitions we're seeing is the buyers are not necessarily interested in the styles of the homes of 15 years ago. Okay. All right. So as a seller, if you've not kept up to speed, you're going to have to price your home really according to what the market is looking for. Not necessarily how much you love it, how big it's been for your family, but the location and the desirability of the buyers. And that's one of the challenges we have right now is talking to our sellers and saying, yes, it's been wonderful. I think the best quote I had from someone who really got it was a gentleman that said, Bart, you know, I don't know what I'm gonna get for this house, but actually, I don't really care. It's given me everything I could have ever dreamed of. So the money, it's interesting, but it's not the most important thing. So definitely something that you want to consider when you're when you're about to put your home on the market, that, that things are changing a little bit and that maybe some of the styles are changing, some of the tastes are changing. So maybe shag carpet is not in demand these days? Mm, not so much, <laughs> not, not, so, not so much, right. So this gets into staging. And when, when you call a professional in and, and we say, mm, this is great, but uh, for instance, I just uh, listed a house up in Singletree and I just moved their furniture all around. I didn't add any more furniture, but I took a lot out. Okay. I mean, it took almost a day to get the pictures off the walls and the family pictures because and all those things. Because you want people to, to picture themselves in these places. So, so you're going to go buy shoes even. Do you want to be distracted by something else in the display? No. You nope. want to just be focused on shoes. Right. So when someone comes to buy your house and look at you want them focused on this being their house. Love not, it. oh, look at that family. They did that. Oh, their mind <laughs> is now, whoa, no, we got to come back right. to, you <laughs> gotta know. Got to focus it. Got to yeah. focus it. So it's really important to talk either a buyer or seller, to talk to someone who's got experience, who, who knows what the trends are, and can really help you. I mean, I'm just saying, Bark's been here since the 1990s, so if you're looking for that experience, how do people get in touch with you? So, uh, really easy. The Sotheby's office, I'm in Beaver Creek, so we're right there by the covered bridge. My number is 331-3083-970, and my website, real easy to remember, epicvalerealestate.com. Uh, 
Love it. Bart, thank you for sharing a little bit of your experience with us this morning. So nice to uh, so nice to meet you. And listen, if you are looking to make this your permanent home or maybe just your home for a little while or you need to sell your home, perfect person to talk to is Bart. We're going to take a break. Coming up next, Ty has a look at your local weather forecast, so don't go away.